Okay, we're going to do a little science experiment here today. You might have seen this thing going around the interwebs over the last week or so, a video talking about how Pro Tools meters may affect the way things sound. I'm skeptical, but uh, let's, let's test this. So... Uh, the video's out there. I bet if you Google it, you can find it. Uh, it was Bob Horn was talking about this. Bob Horn is a great engineer. I haven't had a ton of interactions with him, but you know, back in the day when we were doing that like Clubhouse app a few years ago, I was in some chats with him. Always a really, really nice guy. He's very knowledgeable. He's a great engineer. He's someone that like people like me, I pay attention to what he has to say. And I'm sure I've stolen some tricks and things from him over the years. So I want to test this. I'm crazy skeptical of it, but we're going to test this. Now, a couple of things we need to talk about first. I asked Bob a little bit about his setup in a little chat on Facebook in a Facebook thread. Uh, Currently, he says he's running Pro Tools 2023.12.1 with HD native. And he said, yeah, it works with any session. So few things right off the bat that we've got to get clear. My setup is going to be different for testing this today. I don't have my HD native card anymore. I wish I did, but uh, that's, that's gone. I got rid of that last year. I am on Pro Tools. Let's see, what version of Pro Tools am I running right now? Pro Tools Ultimate 2024.10.2. So I am on a newer version of Pro Tools. I'm also on a Mac Studio, which is probably different from what Bob has been running on. He's heard this over the years on different versions of Pro Tools, though. So I'm going to test this with what I've got here. If there is something about technical setup that I have not talked about in this video, you've got a question, leave a comment below and I will let you know. Now, the hard thing about testing this is you have to go through Pro Tools outputs. You can't use an internal bounce, according to what I've heard about this. So that automatically makes this really difficult to test because I don't want to have any analog converters in the equation. I mean, if we want to test, do the meters actually affect things? I want to keep everything as digital as possible. The good news is, though, since I'm using the Matrix Studio, I can do this. I can route out of Pro Tools to the Matrix Studio, repatch it digitally in the Matrix Studio, and bring it back in. So that way, all the clocking stays right, and we skip any analog conversions. Now, The way I'm going to test this is I am going to change the meter types and then I'm going to print it on a track in Pro Tools. Then I'm going to change the meter types again and I'm going to print it with those different meter types back in Pro Tools. Since I'm going out of Pro Tools, though, any changes I make should get imprinted in the file that I am recording back in. So, you know, just to show you a little bit more of this, if I hop over to Dadman, right down here, so I'm going to go Thunderbolt in to the Matrix Studio. This gets confusing, I know, if you're not used to working with Dadman the Matrix Studio. We're going into the Matrix Studio. It's out of Pro Tools, but it's into the Matrix Studio. So I'm going to go in on 63 and 64, since I'm not actually using those. And then I'm going to route those to the Matrix Studios Thunderbolt output on 63 and 64. So just making a loop. So then in Pro Tools, if we head up into our IO setup, I have an output bus here. I just called it TB6364, Thunderbolt 6364. That's going to route out to 63 and 64, which is going into the Matrix Studio. And then on the input side, we'll bring it in on 63 and 64. Hope that's not too confusing for you. If you're not familiar with the Matrix Studio and Dadman, 
the in out language it, it doesn't make as much sense but just to show you i have right now i have this music sample instrumental mix i printed yesterday and i'm just routing it back in i've got input monitoring on on our first test uh and the meters are in pro tools classic for both the audio track and the master fader so here's a snippet you just want to hear what we're going to be testing i'm going to record this here and then i'm going to change the meters and record it again so All right, that's enough of that. So that's Pro Tools Classic. Now I'm gonna change the meters. I actually have this set up on my iPad app right here where I can change the meters while I'm playing back. But just to show you, let's do it up here. We'll go right click. We're gonna go K14 and Linear Extended is the one that is supposed to be the one that he likes the best. So we'll go to linear extended. You can also change this up in preferences. Uh, where is it? Mixing, I think. No, editing, metering, duh, tab right there. So K14, linear extended. What, what does this do? It just changes the meter ballistics, basically, in the scales. So we don't need to get into that right now. All right, so I'm going to record in this same snippet now that I've changed that and let's see what happens. Okay, so the music you're hearing is basically what's going out to my monitors right now. So on this K14 linear extended track, I've just got a trim plug in on here and I'm flipping the polarity. That's it. I'm going to play back and then I'm going to unmute the Pro Tools Classic. And they completely know. Let's look at some meters though. I have both of these tracks outputting to a metering augs and I've got a bunch of different meters. If we look at decibel to begin with, Decibel, there's nothing here. If I mute one of these though. So there is audio there. Uh, True Level, this is another one from Sonable that I kind of like using sometimes. Again, nada. If I mute one of these tracks though. Okay, finally, this is the Pro Tools master meter in here. Again, right now, both of them nulling. If I mute one. What's another one I got? Where's the BX uh, here? Let's just say meter. Uh, BX meter. Nothing. How about Insight from Isotope? Nope. <laughs> Completely no. So do the meters affect the sound going out of Pro Tools? I don't think so. Is Bob hearing something? Maybe, I don't know. I haven't hung out with him in his studio and witnessed this firsthand who knows? It's very possible that there is something somewhere that is doing things. The thing that I would suspect maybe is changing things might have something to do with graphics on his computer. And maybe it's doing something to the PCI bus that the HD native card is running on. But I don't know. I'm pretty skeptical. I mean, here, let's just do a quick test. I'm going to create another track and we'll say, 
I'm going to change the graphics in preferences. So I'm going to turn off, where is it? Right down here on video, I'm going to turn off the GPU. And let's see if that does anything. Because that's the thing that to me would be most likely to have some kind of a, an impact. And uh, here, we'll change this up again. I'm going to go to PP here. I'm going to go to PPM Digital, which is my favorite to use. And we'll use Digital VU on the master. Uh, let's mute these. I want this input to be 63 and 64. And let's record. All right, so, oh, let's label this. We'll call it PPM and Digital VU. All right, so I'll play back and I'm gonna unmute the K14 and let's see what happens. Still nulls. Uh, if I switch it with the Pro Tools Classic, Still nulls. I don't know. I don't know what to, to tell you. I don't think this is a thing. Is is there something going on on Bob's rig or some of the rigs he's heard it on? Maybe. I don't know. But I don't think the meters, they're not affecting the sound quality. So, and just to, just to give you a little something to, to listen to here, let's turn all of these off. I'm just going to route that original snippet right to the monitors. Uh, which one do I want? I want stereo, because that's what you guys are going to hear. You know, granted, it's YouTube, so you're not hearing it raw. But I mean, honestly, if this is really that big of a deal and makes that big of a difference, you should probably hear it on playback. So I'm going to play this back. So I've got the meters over here. I'm gonna play it back and I'm just gonna start changing this randomly. If this really changes things, you should be able to hear it, even with YouTube's, you know, whatever they're doing to their data and all that. I mean, if it's really something that matters, you should hear it. So here, let's just do that. is a thing that's that's where i'm gonna stand on this but do your own testing don't take my word for it check it out for yourself i mean and and if you test something and you find something different put all the details in the comments let me know what is your system everything tell me because if this is doing a thing somewhere for for bob and more engineers and Bob's not the only one who has said he heard this. He said that there was a, a tech that I think might have even found it. This is, you know, I, I want to know. Like, tell me the details of your system. I want to figure out what is making this different. Because, you know, if there's something going on, let's figure it out. I mean, we're all chasing after great sound, right? So... There you go. But for now, I'm going to say no. The meters do not change the sound of anything in Pro Tools. But try it for yourself. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, if you made it this far, just to kind of take care of any arguments that you might be thinking, oh, he wasn't really switching the meters during that playback section. So... I was, and I changed it a ton. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that footage back up. I'm going to get rid of the blur. 
I'm going to put a counter up every time the meter changes so that you can see exactly what was going on and you'll see that it was changing a bunch. I would suggest to you before you do that, though, get a friend, close your eyes on the playback and make some kind of motion to them when you hear a change or you think you hear a change. And if you can get them all, I mean, hey, maybe maybe there's something to this. But I don't think there will be. The problem with me showing you when I make the actual change is you will be more inclined to hear something change if you have a visual cue because that's just part of how our hearing perception works. So just to kind of settle any arguments on that, I'm going to do this. But uh, I don't think you're going to hear any difference because it nulls. So anyways, there you go. Thanks for watching. Here's that footage. So here, let's just do that.